Hey guys, in this video I will be going over some modification that I did to my Gibbs. I'm going to recommend that you don't do this, uh, not necessarily because you'll destroy your machine, but because the haters are going to come out of the woodwork telling you that you've destroyed your machine. And I expect all the comments on, uh, on the bottom of this video to be to that effect, and I also expect to get a lot of thumbs down. The reason is you should never sand or modify or lap or scrape your Gibbs unless you know everything there is to know about machining and machine modification. Most people will tell you that if you modify any part of your machine at all, especially the Gibbs or anything that has anything to do with the ways, you'll destroy the precision of your machine and you should probably just throw it away. In fact, you might even want to get out of this hobby because clearly you don't belong here. Uh, despite my not belonging here and my not getting out of the hobby, I'm going to go ahead and show you this footage anyway because I was really curious about the flatness of my Gibbs. Uh, the way that I discovered how flat or not flat they were was to coat them with dicum and then with 2000 wet dry sandpaper sand the dicum back off. The sanding that I'm doing here is very light and by that I mean I'm not putting any downward pressure on the gib itself. I'm simply stroking it back and forth trying to knock the dicum off. And you can see that on my X gib it's bowed uh, towards the back side, that is the non-scraped side of the gib. So I remove some of the dicum on the ends and then when I flip it over I knock the uh, dicum off and you can see that uh, there's the bulge in the middle of the gib there. I went ahead and knocked the dicum off of the entire thing to to try to smooth the whole surface and it really did do a huge, uh, made a huge improvement. The surface of the gib is extremely smooth uh, but the scrape marks are still there so I still I still believe it's going to um, hold oil in the ways just fine and I really don't think that this has affected uh, my machine in any way. I've been running CNC with these modified gibs since uh, I shot this video <laughs> and there hasn't been any problems. Uh, you'll notice on my Y gib that I actually have a couple of contact spots and uh, that's because there's I guess kind of a wave in the scraped surface and that may be because the scraping wasn't done as good as it could have been or uh, maybe there's some other reason maybe it was done that way by design but either way I knocked uh, some of the diacom off and achieved a much smoother surface. Anyway, that's it for this video. Again, I recommend you do not do this, and if you do, uh, don't tell anybody because you don't want to feel bad about yourself when they tell you how stupid you are. Uh, for those of you who are about to tell me how stupid I am, p please feel free, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. More stupid videos on the way.